Hey YouTube, my name is David. I am an IT consultant in the beautiful mountains of Western North Carolina. We take care of primarily medium to small size businesses. And today I would like to take you on site to uh, one of those businesses. It is a managed service client, a country club that just got a massive fiber upgrade. They went from horribly slow DSL to uh, 500 megabits symmetrical fiber. On top of that, there are six locations that have dark fiber run to them from the main office to each of those locations. So now, instead of having to um, uh, go through a VPN at each of the six locations, it will all be one cohesive local area network. It's awesome. So today we are in one of the locations. It is a chapel. Different weddings are done here and uh, all they really need is wireless access. Fibers run to the outside and uh, we are going to be mounting an outdoor access point because uh, it doesn't actually need to be in the chapel. They, they don't want to uh, take away from the beauty of, of the chapel and I'll show you the chapel as well and what we're doing. So. Uh, thank you for watching and let's get to it. Okay, what we have here at the chapel is um, there's fiber coming in. It's actually outside. It's a single mode APC SC connector. What we need to do is we need to get in uh, Wi-Fi provided to the church, which is right there. So my plan is to put an outdoor box on the outside of the bathrooms here, which is behind me is just a bunch of woods. So I'm probably going to put a box, um, I guess, right here. The, the problem is... The problem is getting the fiber from here to the box because uh, I don't I don't actually have any conduit. I think that's a half inch or quarter three quarter inch. No, that's a half inch conduit right there. So I'm gonna have to try to figure that out. Um, but anyway, that's what we got. We got power down here that I'm gonna be uh, bringing up into the box. Or I'm sorry, a, a trained electrician is going to be putting that into the box for me. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, this is what I've got so far. Um, first off, I'm really big fan of this outdoor box. I don't know the name brand. Found it on Amazon. Um, less than 20 bucks, or it may have been a little bit over 20 bucks. Under 30 bucks. Um, it's made for, I believe this is for coax DMARCs. Uh, but it is fantastic for mounting... Um, equipment that of course it isn't ventilated in any way um, this gear is not going to be getting very hot because we are in high elevation um, and it is uh, very well sheltered in here 
I'm not too worried about it, but you know, for an outdoor box, that is fantastic. It's got these mounting uh, mounting points that make it very easy to mount equipment in there. Um, so I am a big fan. Eight port managed uh, Unify switch. This entire club, we have uh, Ubiquity gear throughout, except for the routing. Um, the, the router itself is actually an edge router. Um, we, we don't trust the uh, routing and firewall features of the uh, Unify series as of yet. But for switching and wireless, we, we are a big fan. For our media converter, we are using a Ubiquity, um, I believe it's called an instant uh, media converter. It accepts a SFP and it uh, is powered by PoE. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is running a cable from here. Uh, and I believe I'm going to be mounting the access point right, right there. Right about there where that nail is. And um, that should provide adequate coverage for the chapel, which is not very large, and the outdoor area. Okay, I've got the cable ran on the exterior of the building, um, where basically nobody will ever see it, or ever really care to notice. Um, and I've got the access point mounted right, right there. The reason why I mounted it that way is if we go over here I wanted the um, the antennas to be underneath this roof line as much as possible so that it can penetrate through the chapel which is from here to back there and that's that's about as um, wide and that's how long it is so uh, Signal should be no issue as long as it's underneath that roof line. And so I mounted it horizontal like that, and I've got some cable management to do. Um, so that's the reason for that. So the next step is to get the fiber going. Okay, the next step is to term, not terminate, but to attach the fiber. Uh, it is actually not hooked up at the main office right now. I don't know. There's a patch panel, a fiber patch panel at the main office. Uh, and I don't know which port it is, so i um, got this nice uh, optical multimeter, which I don't use the multimeter function on this. I don't know how accurate it is because this is a, I believe it was $25 on Amazon. But what this is very useful for is finding fiber. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to attach this on uh, this end of the fiber, and we will go to the main office and find out which uh, strand it is that we need to hook up. So let's go ahead and get that started. We've got our light source going, and you can, I believe you can see that red light shining. So we're going to go to the main office, and we're going to see which strand that is. Okay, now that we found the strand at the main office, we are going to hook it up and see if we get a link. Uh, now, what I didn't show you, and what I didn't do here, was clean my fiber. It's very important to clean your fiber to do the um, the, the light test, I didn't clean it, um, but to actually hook up the SFP module, and I'll talk about this SFP module here in a second, uh, it's very important that you clean your fiber. And what am I using to clean? Just a second. I'm using these little clicker cleaners. Uh, super easy. I usually just give them two clicks on each end, and you've got clean fiber. So, clean your fiber. The SFP module that we're using for the club and for every single location is a single mode 
uh, simplex bi-directional SC connector uh, with a maximum of a gigabit um, symmetrical link uh, sending and receiving it sends in well this the the B module so the way that bi-directional works is that this sends in one wavelength of light and receives in a different wavelength of light so this sends in 1550 nanometers and receives in 1310 and uh, the other module over there would receive in 1310 and send in 1550. Um, isn't fiber cool? I like that. That's pretty, that's pretty nifty. So let's go ahead and hook it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will first bring our uh, fiber patch cable into the newly installed box and this is not outdoor rated cable. I will come back and replace it with outdoor rated cable. Better yet, I will come back and uh, replace the entire line uh, inside of conduit. Um, I don't have that today, so this will do for right now, especially um, in the conditions that we are in right now. Um, very cool up here most of the time. It's undercover not going to get any sunlight on it so not too worried about it so we're going to bring our patch cable up through where we want it and then we are going to clean it let's see if i can hold this open somehow yeah okay, i can't okay so now i'm going to go ahead and clean the fiber i'm going to take the cap off of this here And let's see if I can get it good. I'm gonna take the dust cover off and you just click it. I click it twice, okay. Leave that, make sure it doesn't touch anything. We've got our SFP module. I like to clean the optics inside of here as well. You take the cover off and give it two clicks, okay. So let's go ahead and attach the fiber to the SFP module. And let's put it inside of our media converter. There we go. Um, all right, so now I'm just going to do the same thing for the other end of the fiber, and uh, then we'll test it and see how it works. Okay, so here's a semi-finished product. Uh, we've got our fiber, which I will be replacing soon with outdoor rated fiber, or some better solution. Coming from our DMARC to our outdoor box. And here is our outdoor box. It's coming into the media converter through the SFP, into the switch, and from that switch we have a uh, access point. It's going through, out into our access point, which is mounted right there. And that is providing adequate coverage for this beautiful chapel. Okay, I am back at the office. I just want to say thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Um, I would like to continue making videos like this uh, if there's interest. I sort of a vlog style and you know as I create I think the content will get better and better and better. This is sort of a first run. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions about any of the gear that I use today, um, please let me know. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great and blessed day.